So the, 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 the challenge, the third thing which is important is called al-musahaba, the friendship. And this is the key, wallahu a'lam, to resolve all this issue, the issue of the gap generation fighting. Musahaba, friendship. In the saying that we talked about it before, that wasahibhu from 14 or the, 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 the it's, it's not hadith, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's some of them said marfu'at al Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, some of them is saying of Ali ibn Abi Talib, but it's described the real Islamic way of raising the children. You talk about musahaba, friendship. Without musahaba, without this musahaba, we cannot pass all the knowledge, we cannot create or bring a new generation to care about Islam. What's musahaba? Musahaba means the parents, the leaders, the children, the teachers, they will treat the older children as their friends. Seem like very difficult things for a lot of us. How I'm going to treat my 13 or 14 child as my friend? This is what, what the Islamic theory of education taught, uh, taught us. That when the children grow up, they have to have friends. They have to have somebody to share the knowledge and the experience and involve them in what you are doing. With all respect, I have a different opinion about the separation that we created between generations. And a lot of Muslims, Muslim centers and Muslim, maybe some of including us, maybe we have to re-evaluate what we set up, that we cannot isolate the, the youth from the, the rest of the community. And Rasul Sallallahu he didn't do that. Sahaba, when they are 15 and 16 and 17, they are, they come, they sit, they listen to the mashwara, they talk about the, with the Prophet Sallallahu as he's one of the community. The day that we stopped following the teaching of the Prophet Sallallahu and establish the mentality, the culture that we get from before Islam, mentality, the cult of the tribes before Islam, that the, the respect have to go one way, from the younger to the older. This is not the way that the Rasul Sallallahu raised the Sahaba. The respect, the care, the mashwara go both ways. The young generation, we respect them and we respect them sincerely. And we bring them with us and we listen to them and we let them listen to our adult so-called discussion and questions. Because if you don't raise the question with them, if you don't be their friend, they're going to find another friend outside. If the father and the mother and the teacher and the leader and the imam is not the friend of our youth, they're going to find another friend. And most probably is not going to be the right friend. <coughs> if we fail because of our culture as a mother to talk with her daughter, to talk with her son about all the issue that they face, then we, it's, it's a recipe of failure to raise them the correct way that Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam want us to, to, to raise them. Rasul Sallallahu he used to talk to, with Fatima, he used to respect her and listen to her and bring her and treat her as his friend. The day that we establish the friendship, inshallah, the, the, uh, the, we will talk more about it. The ilm, it needs seminar by itself. What's the knowledge? How I have to do? But again, sadaq and ilm. This is the two things to, to key. Jazakumullah khairan. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and bring, help us to save our generation and to say, save us ourselves, inshallah. Wassalamu alaikum.